Tesla has recently introduced what they describe as the most budget-friendly variant of the Model Y in the US. Even more exciting is the possibility of this model reaching the Taiwanese market. In this video, we will explore the distinctions of this Model Y and identify its ideal audience. You might be inspired to join the Tesla community after watching. The second reason centers around the highly anticipated Cybertruck. Get ready for a deep dive into the latest Cybertruck updates. We will unveil its interior, explore the user interface, and experience the jaw-dropping acceleration of this electric beast. So, if you don't want to miss any of these incredible updates, keep watching the video. The US Model Y Rear Wheel Drive Version the Model Y you're looking at boasts some noteworthy distinctions compared to its predecessors in the United States. It's the rear-wheel drive version and its most prominent variance lies in its range, offering around 260 miles, approximately 416 kilometers. This is slightly less than the previous standard Model Y, which boasted a range of 279 miles. Still, most folks won't notice the difference for everyday use. Model Y Impressive Acceleration when it comes to the 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time, it clocks in at 6.6 .6 seconds, a figure that interestingly aligns with the earlier rear wheel drive Model Y in China. Tesla's upgrades in the Chinese rear wheel drive Model Y achieved an acceleration time of 5.9 seconds. What drives the new US Model Y? So, it's reasonable to assume that this fresh US Model Y version utilizes LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries. Its peak charging power is 170 kilowatts, a tad lower than the 250 kilowatts supported by other Tesla models. However, in practical terms, most users will find this difference a minor concern given that hitting the 250 kilowatt charging rate entails specific conditions conditions, including the battery's charge and temperature. 5-Seat Exclusive It's important to note that this particular Model Y offers a 5-seat configuration exclusively. There's no 7-seat option. These divergences come with a price reduction of $6,500 compared to the long-range Model Y. Remember that a federal tax credit of $7,500 is available in the United States for electric vehicle purchases. Tax Credit Opportunity Get the Model Y at $36,490 Suppose you meet the eligibility criteria and purchase this vehicle before the year ends. In that case, the price before taxes effectively comes down to a mere $36,490. For a compact SUV, that's an incredibly budget-friendly price point. If you're in the United States and keen on this vehicle, we recommend not delaying your decision too long. The rules concerning tax credits are getting stricter, particularly regarding the origin of materials and manufacturing location. This vehicle may not qualify for the tax credit next year. Introducing the Rear Wheel Drive Model Y The Rear Wheel Drive Model Y might soon make its way to Taiwan and we'll discuss who might find this car suitable for their needs. Because it's equipped with LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries, its charging habits differ from Model Y vehicles using ternary lithium batteries. LFP batteries have lower energy density but offer enhanced safety and heat tolerance, allowing you to charge them to full capacity daily without any concerns. Charging habits and battery variations in the Model Y. On the other hand, ternary lithium batteries found in the standard Model Y are usually kept at around 80% charge to preserve battery health. As a result, the standard Model Y with its ternary lithium batteries has a range of 279 miles. However, following the recommended 80% charge practice, the effective range drops to approximately 223 miles. 
optimizing range with LFP batteries. Conversely, the rear-wheel drive Model Y, benefiting from the daily full charging capability of LFP batteries, boasts a range of 260 miles. In practical terms, this often translates to a better effective range, especially for individuals who rarely drive over 260 miles daily. This is typical in smaller areas like Taiwan, where commutes seldom exceed 200 kilometers. Supercharging convenience and the NAC standard. If your daily commute falls within this range, the rear wheel drive Model Y is a fantastic choice. You can conveniently charge it at home, and the occasional supercharging is hassle free thanks to Tesla's extensive global charging network. Moreover, numerous other brands have adopted Tesla's NAX charging standard in North America, underscoring the trust in Tesla's supercharging capabilities. Hyundai and Kia embrace NAX charging standard in South Korea. Now let's dive into the latest news regarding Hyundai and Kia, both subsidiaries of the Hyundai Motor Group, as they're making strides by adopting the NAX charging standard in South Korea. This reflects a growing trend of acknowledging Tesla's supercharging network. Tesla's domination in supercharging and its North American strategy. In today's update, it's revealed that Tesla is introducing NAX supercharging specifications for their vehicles in North America. Hyundai has plans to roll out electric vehicles with fresh interfaces in 2025, while Kia aims for a late 2024 release. This unquestionably highlights Tesla's dominance in the supercharging arena. Analyzing the reasons behind Tesla's rear-wheel drive Model Y in North America. But why, you might wonder, did Tesla decide to launch a rear-wheel drive version of the Model Y in North America? Some have speculated on this, and one theory suggests it's in response to mounting competition, especially from Chinese manufacturers like BYD. Interestingly, BYD's electric vehicle deliveries in the third quarter nearly matched Tesla's figures. BYD's anticipated electric vehicle deliveries deliveries for the year aligned with Tesla's targets. A detailed look inside the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Take a glimpse at the interior, and you'll find captivating red ambient lighting, unique octagonal cup holders, dedicated phone charging stations, and a tray design reminiscent of the older Model S. While the expansive windshield promises outstanding visibility, it may lead to some discomfort during hot summers. The sun visor design takes inspiration from the Model X. If you've ever dreamt of using the Cybertruck for a fishing expedition in Mexico, you're not alone. Cybertruck's Unique Interior Features More recently, an observer spotted two Cybertrucks charging in Ensenada, Mexico, raising Elon Musk's ambition of taking on the Baja off-road race with the Cybertruck. There's even a snapshot of the Cybertruck equipped with a Starlink satellite receiver, potentially providing internet connectivity in remote, signal-deprived areas. The excitement about these developments is quite evident. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the incredible updates of Tesla models. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content such as this.